In this video, we're going to focus on your day-to-day -day work in Hive and Hive's basic functionalities. And this involves managing your to-do list and the work of others if you're a manager and you assign work out. So first off, when I come to Hive, I will be in Project Navigator. Now this is the home of projects in Hive, and it, but it does not necessarily need to be your home on a day-to-day -day basis. We're going to work through from a few different areas that should be your go-to spots when you're working in Hive. And firstly, we're going to start with My Actions. My Actions should be your anchor in Hive on a day-to-day -day basis to manage all of your actions and everything you are assigned across your different projects. And I'm going to find My Actions up here at the top of the left-hand nav in the menu. So let me open it. My Actions provides a view of all of your actions aggregated across all of your projects and it's a great way to see and understand all the work that you own and if you are a manager or a team lead you can also see the work you have assigned out to others. You can see the due date you expect assignees to get work to you and you can also see the dates that people expect work from you. So for my actions, you can come and open an action straight away and you can go directly to a project and also you can open an action card without having to go back to the project navigator. And this helps us move around very quickly on a day to day basis. So to recap, if you click on the project header of the project here, then this will take you straight to this new project. So let me open that up here and I can go to the project and back to my actions. And secondly, I can open up these action cards very easily just by clicking on them. A few other useful features of my actions is that you can filter. So let me just select all and open up everything that's been assigned to me. And you can sort by different groupings as well. So we can look at the next 30 days or grouping by status or display the, the task. Within the more menu, you'll see you can sort by due date and priority, group it by project or none, and then export to PNG. One common thing we find is people will come and click none in group, and they will just see a straight list of all of the action cards together. Now, if you'd like to reset that and group it by project, click here and it will list you with your projects. Now, a nice catch to do with this is to set the filter to include no due date. And what this means is you will be able to go back and check and capture any action card that someone has assigned to you that does not have a due date. So you can check in with that person and confirm what's expected. Now, creating action cards and actions is important in Hive. And what we want to look at is a couple of ways that you can create those without leaving my actions. So the first one we're going to start with is we're going to start with the top of my view, my actions view. So here we are, and I'm going to type in create report. And I will select the project that this belongs to. So let's select social campaign tracker. I'm going to give it a due date of Friday. I'm going to select an important label. So let's just give it a Google label. And I don't have any attachments or anything, but if I wanted to, I could make the action, I could attach an action, make it important or make it private. You can see it's assigned it to myself, but again, I could update that here should I choose. And just by clicking create, you'll see that that action card here has been created. And if I open, We'll see it there and then by going to my project, we'll see it live in our project. OK. Now, let's say I need to create an action and assign it out. I can also do that very quickly with the new button from anywhere I may be inside Hive. So by selecting new and clicking action, I can come change the assignee, add the due date. I can put my title in and importantly, I can select which project that this new action belongs to. And I can do all without leaving my actions. Let me just close that down. Okay, great. Let's go back to my actions. Now, this assigned by me tab will allow you to go and view any assignments that you've assigned to a teammate and they will be listed here. And that's very important because you can see those due dates and check in on progress very, very quickly. 
One further thing we can do to manage our action cards is that if I open this card and I know throughout the day I'm going to be working on this report, I can minimize it to the bottom left, uh, bottom right hand side of the screen, sorry, if I click this little minimize action. And you'll see here it creates a small tab and I can open it quickly from there and close it down. And if there happens to be a moment when I lose my action card and I want to find it again, our little clock here, which will show my most recent action cards, allows me to very quickly go back and click on something I was looking at earlier and access it. Now let's visit Navigator and I'd like to show you one handy thing for this left hand navigation. And when you're managing through a number of projects, you can use the left hand navigation as a favorites board. And what I'd like to do is I'm going to pin this social campaign tracker here and you'll see that it will appear on my left hand navigation. And this means that I can very quickly access that whole project. And let's just add another couple to the net left hand nav bar. But this order isn't quite right for me. So I want this one at the top. So I can drag and drop and reorder these should I choose to. And that's just a really handy way of making sure that you can access the projects, the action cards and the work that you need to do very quickly in Hive. And from here, you'll have everything you need that's easily accessible to work in Hive.